Hi everyone, Vlad Trovo again, San Francisco State. This is the uh, information design class. This is item number three and uh, the layout, the sketch layout for project number two. And it's a bar and line chart uh, duplicating what's published in the New York Times of um, San Francisco County cases uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, this is more or less like the other ones that we did in Tableau. However, there is a, it was a little bit tricky to get the data set. So I'm gonna go over that uh, right now. And um, why don't I, let's see, open up. Um, yeah, so the, the New York Times website, again, has uh, made available the data sets that they use. Um, at this, um, at this link right here, okay, which is a GitHub repository. And they have also a file that's called counties, US counties. However, um, that file is like more, by now more than a million, well, it was already on, on February 22nd, more than a million rows because um, it includes every county in the United States, about 3,000 of them, and every day since the pandemic. So that's about a year. So it's 300 some times 3,000. It comes to about 1 million. So 1 million rows um, actually Excel, I think, can load, but it's more than that. It's like, I don't know, 50,000 more. And when I tried to load that file, it just wouldn't in, in Excel. So let me just show you what I did to figure this out. Um, so let's see what number are we doing now? Uh, four, right? Lost track. Oh, three. Actually, it's still three. Um, so uh, so the original file was these US counties. And I can actually open this in um, text wrangler in any text editor, but it's a huge file. It's 43 megabytes. That's like a book, a big book. Probably the Bible fits in there um, in terms of just bits. Um, so if I open that, it's nice because actually in the text editor, it's no problem. And so it starts every day. And this is what people have been inputting um, basically since the beginning. Um, and the New York Times is about, I don't know, maybe a hundred people working on this collection. But you can see you got dates and then you have random counties. So whoever was input, you know, is probably one of those files that everybody contributes to. So it's got date and then, okay, I'm calling from Arroyo, you know, county in Puerto Rico and I'm putting these numbers in and the numbers are in fact for, um, uh, cases and deaths, and notice that there is again a FIPS number, which is the county uh, number, which is this five digit number. And that's very important later because, again, when we do a map, it will, uh, Tableau will recognize the and it will actually draw the shape for that county. So, anyway, whoops, here we go. It's yeah, it's a million and 56,752 rows. This was. Um, February 22nd, now it got bigger. So what do I do? I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with this because I can't sort it with a text editor unless I do some fancy coding, which I don't know how to do. Um, so I actually went somewhere else and I'm not gonna give too many details now because it's a little bit of a hack, even though um, and back early on, uh, when the pandemic started, I started to scound, you know, scavenge for data and, and, and somebody said, oh, well, I guess that's one way of getting it. But eventually they made it public because there was so much request. So instead, what I did was I found a data set file that was actually in the HTML and it's this file. Now it's JSON. It's, um, and I'll tell you later how I found it. I'll tell you in I learn. Um, but it's a JavaScript object notation. So it's formatted in a certain way, and there's ways to transform it into comma separate value. But again, it's very big and the 
the converters sometimes don't work well. Maybe the file is too big, whatnot. So I figured since I only needed San Francisco, maybe I could do this by hand. And that's what I did. So when I opened the file in, um, oops, now it's opening in something I don't want. Oh no, it is. Um, in Text Wrangler, the header, what happens in a JSON file, there's like nested stuff. Uh, later we'll see the Tableau actually opens it. I mean, reads it, which is really nice. Um, so, but you can get a lot from just, let's see if I can make it bigger. Um, maybe you can just, no, what? I don't know if I can zoom. Anyway, maybe I will change it real quick so that we can see it. Oops, too big. Okay, yeah, there we go, this helps. So actually this gives you a lot of information, okay? And actually what's key for us is actually the date range um, because the date range tells us exactly how many days, even though they're not actually here, we know that we'll count later and we'll see how many that is, but um, it's from March 1st to February, March 1st, wait, uh, sorry, March 1st to 2020 to uh, February, in this case, actually 23. So I have one more data, I don't need it. But, um, and then it goes cases. Okay, so there you go. That's our data set in this case for the US because this is the very beginning, right? But that's what we want, cases. If I can just separate this, and then it goes to deaths. If I can just separate these again, I'm, I'm in good shape. So what I'll do is I'll do a find for San Francisco County or San Francisco. And this looks like it. So you see, this is a whole header for this. Um, I mean, I should probably double check, but I think it's right. Um, and cases, so it would be here, okay? And then that is here and let's see, and this looks right because 394 sounds right. It's about 400 deaths so far in San Francisco. So I can just copy this, okay? And let me just show you what I did and then I'll show you. So I'll copy that, okay? Um, now I do a new, it's a little bit of work, but I paste, and now I'm in text wrangler, I'll do soft wrap. I get rid of the extra stuff. See, the problem now is that they're actually rows instead of being columns, but that's okay. It's still separated. So again, what I wanna do now is like that. So now I have two rows. I wanna make sure I delete all the junk. Okay, right there, there was some junk. Um, so I've got cases and I've got deaths and it's, it's all in one single row. All the cases are in one single row and all the deaths are in one single row. But I'm gonna save this as a comma separated file instead of JSON, comma separated value. I'm gonna call it test, I'm gonna be in three. Um, so bear with me for a moment because this can be really useful. On the web, you find a lot of JSON files that are driving the data visualizations, interactive ones. And, um, and if you just need a little bit, yeah, it's easy. Okay, was it three or four? I think it was three. So save that. Um, now I'm gonna open that in um, test, here we go. I'm gonna open this with, um, I'm gonna open it with Excel, okay? And there it is. So again, these are horizontal. What I want though is I want columns, right? So what I'll do is I'll do what's called transposing the rows and columns, so flipping them. So I'm going to select everything. 
three hundred and whatever. Just bear with me. So I select. Now I'm going to copy it. Command copy, and I'm going to do a new worksheet. And now I'm just going to do a paste spatial, spatial. No, spatial. I don't know. Spatial sounds like space but it's a particular kind of paste. Um, so under edit, paste special, and here I say transpose, okay? And that's it, that's nice. So now I have the columns, okay? So now I'm just gonna skip to the actual file that I finished it, but basically this, okay, it took a few cut and paste, you know, just being careful, cleaning it up. Um, so uh, I guess I can save it. There is a large amount, uh, no. Um, so eventually what I did was, this file, right? So, um, And somehow I just put San Francisco in there too, but just in case. Now, if you recall, I didn't have the date, right? In that file, the date, actually in that file, the date is nowhere at all. Somehow through coding, they have a calendar built in or something. So there was no actual list of the dates, but I just copied these dates from the other files before, right? I just had to figure out cut and paste and just select the dates that I needed from that particular day, right? I remember that it was from March 1st to uh, February 23rd, except that remember I, oh, I know, I know now. I only had dates for the twin until the 22nd. So anyway, this goes to the 23rd, whatever. So anyway, I did more cut and paste and I created these columns and I'm not gonna change now again because I can do the subtraction in Tableau. Uh, so now this is San Francisco. So I created this myself, right? You might say, well, I could have found this website. Okay, well, if you can find it, good for you, right? But, <laughs> um, but if, you know, if it's not easily available, here's how you can sometimes make it. So, um, so this is the file that I'll bring in. And I'm going to the Tableau. Okay. And this is it. And I think here too, I, did I do? Um, I don't know what this is. Um, this is the correct one. Oh wait, the dates. Oh no, this is that's that's right. That's why this looks. Um, but I somehow I duplicated, but I didn't. I better fix that right now. That's okay. Good. Um, yeah, so let's just recreate this. Um, oh, I know why, because this is actually, um, yeah, this is actually number four in the layout. So, um, well, for the sake of the video, I'll restart it, but, um, but I use the same file. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one we want to create. These are all the, and by now, you know, drill, right? So, <laughs> Uh, the data source looks like that. Um, and it knows it's a county, but we're not using it. The date, the cases, and the deaths. So let's do a quick one just to make sure things work. So I double click on the cases, I double click on the date, I go to the date, and I say day. I want to say exactly, I want to be exactly the day. So I got my line. Um, let's make it a bar from the marks. There we go. 
go. Um, let's change the colors. So no, um, no border, none, and also the size. Uh, we did fix, and then I remember we did 0.15, I can't remember. Let's just say that's good. Um, and so now we're going to do um, the subtraction, right? So we're going to cases because we want to do days values, not continuous, I mean, not cumulative. So we go to add the table calculation from cases. I'm going to speed up a little bit because by now you probably learned this by heart. And there it is. Um, and I say it's the default is exactly what we want is the difference from the previous, right? Difference from in this menu, the previous from this menu. Okay. And I'm not crazy about the color now, it's a little too light. I didn't change it. Oh, because I didn't select it. Okay. I have to select it and then it will change, hopefully. There you go. All right. So these are now San Francisco cases. Yes, San Francisco cases. So now we're going to overlap the line. Uh, we do this again. We drag it in and we make it the dotted line on the right. Um, turns it into a bar and let's quickly change it to a line. Um, and now let's let's just fix this line underneath back to bars, right? So here on the marks bar. And now let's go back to the line. And now we have to do this double step, which is Weird because we have to do the average first, moving average, and then we can do the subtraction. Somehow it doesn't let me do the subtraction before. So we go to cases, then we say add table calculation. And the first one I can do again is just the difference. So I say, sorry, I can, but then I can go forward. So I'll do the moving calculation, that little menu right there moving calculation, then this other little menu, very tiny, sorry. Um, I'll do seven days. Sorry, it's not the sum, it's the average. It's gonna calculate it based on the seven days before and after. I believe this is how it is. If somebody, if I'm saying something stupid, let me know, okay? <laughs> um, so that's good. And now we're going to do the secondary calculation. And that gives us the right line. Okay. Now notice that it doesn't look like an average, it looks like above, but that's because the because the um, the scales are different, right? Here it's 500. So we're going to synchronize the scale. And that looks good. So now we're just going to make it real quick, a little less strong the bars and the line we're actually going to make stronger can't select it there we go nope it's a zoom somewhere I, can't, I don't know where it is there we go so yeah um so we're going to make the color we're going to make the Capacity 100%. I want this to be, I guess that was already that, but I want to make it, oh, the size, right? I want to make the thickness. So here under line, size, thicker line. Okay. And that's it. This is it for the, uh, let's see if we get it right. Okay, so here in the New York Times webpage, um, you would go to um, to find San Francisco. I think it's down below here. Yeah, 
So San Francisco is pretty low. And you click on that. And actually they have different graphs. These are interesting because they're showing uh, just more detailed. Uh, notice how they're using the stepped line graphs here for uh, some things, but not others. So let's see, somehow, oh, here it is. So this is the cases. Yeah, so this is the one we just did. And by the way, you should check because sometimes you do something and then it's like, whoa, I used the wrong data set. So let's do a quick check. So let's see, on January 15th, uh, let's see this peak right here. On January 9th, um, it's 493. So on January 9th, 493. Good, right? That's how you check it. You do a spot check. Um, maybe this is the fraud that had a very strange. No, not this one. Okay, so this is done too. And, um, and I'll stop this video and I'll do it again for the deaths, which will be this one. Um, again, just to have it as a separate thing. Okay, but this is the cases and the moving average. I um, wonder if there is a way to show in the label. Oh, actually, yeah, this tell, tells you the difference. Yeah, from the label. I don't know if it says. Okay. Anyway, you can find out more about what to display here. Uh, the other thing we can do is actually remove this, say, show header, which gets rid of it. Maybe the line should be thicker. Should be thicker. All right. All right. Again, look at the New York Times. How did they do it? By the way, they're doing deaths in gray. I think that's a, a choice, a stylistic choice. I'm sorry, cases. Sorry. For somehow when they go into counties, they do gray, gray um, graphs. Again, notice how they filled in with a little fill, light fill, the shaded area. You could do that easily in Illustrator. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. All right, see you in a little bit. Ciao.